Hey, you see how well she's standing there? Yeah. Okay, don't pick up on the lead rope. That hurts me. It bothers me, you see? When they get to where they have so much respect for that rope, even though that mule is walking off, he would rather follow that mule, but he knows if that rope moves, his nose is going to be uncomfortable. And as long as he stands right there, she's fine. All right, now, folks tell you that their mule, this mule you're going to buy and spend $10,000 for, or whatever the case may be, they'll say to you that he's well-trained. Okay? If you hear the word well-trained, what's, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? can do in a 10-foot circle. What you can do in a 10-foot circle. That sounds like a Steve school. Edwards because student right there. That's what he's taught us. Yeah, okay. But what comes to your mind? If you if you come up to, to look to ride a mule, what are you going to ask him? If he can pay attention to you, okay. What they use them for. What they use them for, okay. Get on him safely? Oh, you better stay off of him there. There's no such thing as being getting on him safely. There's no such thing as a safe mule. They don't exist. In fact, I wish I had my helmets here. My helmets are actually up in Prescott. I used to wear a helmet a lot. No such thing as a safe mule. Why are you getting on him? Because the guy puts in your spine and probably get on That's right. Don't you do it. That's right. Now, I want to see him move, loosen around him, too. That's right. That's what I do with her. That's right. So you want to see groundwork. You want to see him pick up all four feet. You want to see him catch him. You want to see him brush him. So tied to a hitch and post is okay, or this right here. If you really want to impress me, do this, okay? Now, the next thing, <coughs> if the mule has a good foundation in a 10-foot circle, they're going to turn on the forehand, turn on the hindquarters, and side pass. She didn't know that. Okay. But they didn't advertise it. She did. Yeah. She okay. never even had her arena work. Okay, there you are. Okay. And you can see what she's done here just in a matter of a few hours. Plus what she's done well, in the past. Since, 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 since you got her the past year. Clinic, since the last clinic, clinic. yeah. Okay, so now so somebody says he's trained. I say, okay, show me him side passing. What's that? Well well then okay, show me turn on forehand. What's that? He's not trained. If he don't side pass, he doesn't turn on forehand, he doesn't side pass. Doesn't turn on the forehand, get that? Doesn't turn on the hindquarters, he's not trained. Oh, but I cross rivers, so what? I go by traffic, so what? Does it have a whoa? Does it have a backup? That's trained. But going up and down the road, or you see some 10 year old girl riding around in a circle, that's not trained, folks. That's what you see all the time. Or like this one show that I just heard about, I didn't know anything about it where they, they, they call it mules and donks or something like that. Is that what it is? And I, I just saw some pictures the other day. This guy emailed me and he said, Steve, can, can you fix a mule from Bucky? And I said, there's a good possibility, yes. He said, I said, uh, he said well, well, I said, well, you know about the history. He says, well, he said, let me send you a couple of pictures. Here's this mule coming off a straight off heel, no britching on him. The guy's heels, are almost touching his rump, like this, going down this really steep hill, and the saddle setting directly on top of the scapula. And he is almost setting on top of the shoulder. But he's going down the hill, and he looks really masculine doing it, but he's screwing up the mule. You know, what do you get for a 10 cent ribbon? That's not worth it, you know, it's not worth it. So, let's go back. What's it look like? I take my mule and I adjust the halter. <coughs> okay, show me turn on the hind quarters. So the back end stays in place, front end goes over. So I want the guy to show me. Here the mule goes and back end stays in place, front end move over. Turn on the hind quarters. Okay, turn on the forehand, front end stays in place. Back it moves around. If he's trained, we're going to see this. If he's not trained, all you're doing is setting this mule. You're buying a $5,000 mule that doesn't side pass the trail. That's not trained. You guys got the picture? All right. So now we turn on the front end. The front end stays in place. Back end moves around. All 
I'll take it. Side pass. Okay. We can say that this mule has a foundation. He's got a good foundation. Is he trained? No. He has a foundation. Think more foundation than his training. Where does the training come in? For riding every day. I put a foundation on him for him to do this stuff. Now she's going to do things a little bit different. He's going to do things a little bit different, but I still have my foundation. Now if the mule one day, he says my mule won't do ABC, I say do this and this, corrects the mule and the way it goes. Got the picture? So if my mule has a foundation not trained, because everybody uses that word loosely, he's got a foundation, he's going to turn on the, side, turn on the forehead, turn on the hindquarters, and side pass, okay? And most important thing, backing up. Because if you got a good backup, you got a good stop.